I'm Klaus Müller and welcome to Euroflix, the show where we discuss up and coming projects and producers and directors and find out what's really going on behind the lens. My guest today is very special. We've been trying to get her for months here at Euroflix and she is an amazing director, producer, dancer, actress, model and an amazing writer who has come up with the most fantastic movie. You have to see it. Please welcome Adina Abramowitz. Abrahami. Gesundheit. Adina, my first question is, what is your full name? Uh, my full name is Adina Alexandra Abrahami. Now, you know, Adina comes from the Hebrew word. It means delicate, like a flower. Or it comes from the King David and his Rubenites, you know, the warriors. And Abrahami is, um, it means, uh, uh, boy, the Polish sausage is overcooked. No, no. Mm -mm. Where, where do you think it comes? Uh, Abraham. The oh, like Lincoln, Patriarch. free the slaves, let's go party. You then hip hop, yo. <coughs> No. Okay. So I must ask you, you should tell us of your uh, childhood. Where were you born and what you did? I you was know? born in Israel. Um, what in part? Tel Aviv. That's the best part, trust me. Go ahead. <laughs> um, and then I moved to the United States when I was three. Which one? Uh, <laughs> well, I lived in New York when I first moved to the U.S. and then uh, California. What was so great about California, I've been there and then we had that earthquake and I almost shizened all over the floor. I was so scared. Uh. <laughs> now, let's get serious for a moment here. At what age did you decide you wanted to be in the film industry? Um, I mean, I grew up performing since, you know, I was performing since I was like three or four years old. Awesome, so, like, yeah, you know, ballet, tap jazz. Right, I, I was dancing and I was also singing. I did a lot of theater. I like ballet. Yeah, ballet is great. Now, I must ask you a question five is, did you go to college for acting or, or, or for writing? I went uh, to college. Um, yeah, which one? UCLA. UCLA, nice college, yeah. Yeah, it is, it's a good school. What did you study there? I studied economics and art history. Wow, so that was all uh, two bullshit subjects, man. You can't even they use They kind them. of are. Right. I, no, I agree with you on that. Art history, what are you going to do? Oh, look, there's an old painting. Yeah. yeah, it's old. It's true. Now, I know you personally believe in the power of energy. Mm -hmm. Do you use this in your work? I mean, for a comedy, yeah. You know, you, you want to make people laugh. I think that if that's the energy that you're putting out there, people will be receptive to it. Now, you go back to this uh, Must Kill King movie that you're trying right. to make, which is awesome. I, I'm yeah. loving this idea. Um, how did you fall into the horror film genre? Did, was it I grew different? up watching horror movies. I love them. No, uh, Jesus Christ, I almost dropped my cards on the walls. <laughs> how did you come up with the concept for the Must Kill King, uh, the, this film? Uh, I was actually, I was out with some friends. Right. Oh, I understand. And you were at a football game, yeah? A uh, baseball game. I was in Yankees game. Yeah, 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 Yankee. New York, New York Yankee. I knew right. that. Right, And uh, we were talking about Blood Lost and then we were talking about Next Project and we were just trying to come up with the ideas for like a new horror film. It's really tough, yeah? It is, because Stephen King has taken all of them. Right, so you decide, well, you know, why don't you kill Stephen King and then you come up with a new idea? Well, I mean, the premise of the story, it's, um, it's two disgruntled film writers, horror film writers, and they're coming, well, they're trying to come up with ideas for horror films, and they're having some trouble. So, uh... Well, let's not give it away, because my audience, uh, they're violent. They'll take it right off you. Anyway, how do you choose the actors for the, your, this film especially? What is the criteria? <clears throat> um, if somebody can act. I should rephrase the question. Let me skip that one, it was terrible. <laughs> this is very important to me. Who in the world do you admire the most? Do I admire the most? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, I mean, there are a lot of people. Um, Bruce Campbell. Ah, yes, yeah. Bruce Campbell. And now then, opposite, who do you admire the least? There are a lot of people. Um, Kim Kardashian would yeah, be yeah. a good example. Yeah, yeah. Beach, right? Yeah. Now, what kind of food would you be if you were food? If I was a food? What kind of food do you think I'd be? 
I think uh, when I look at you and I take in your order and all this, I'm thinking uh, like a steak, medium rare, with a great amount of peppercorns on it to give you that bite. Mm -hmm. That is you. I'm a steak? It's the steak. Maybe with a bit of asparagus on the side. Right. Because asparagus smells when you pee. What makes a good film, especially a good horror film? What makes a good horror film? Yeah. <clears throat> well, it needs to be scary. That's, you know... It's Boo! Good. Like that, yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. Um, it needs to be scary, it needs to be believable. You know? Yeah, believing is, especially in comedy, like I believe a lot of things and, and when I produce an either film, it's always believable. Yeah, go mm -hmm. ahead. Um, I think those are probably the two biggest components. You have yeah. quite big components, I've noticed. Now, if you could clone one person in the world, who would it be? Mm, Dead or alive? Yeah, I don't think I'd want to clone anybody. What about the Jesus one? Uh, like he was, oh, actually, yeah. Uh, no, that's Jesus the was the OJ, the original Jew. Right, yeah. totally. Yeah, I might actually want to clone Jesus. I think that would just be awesome. Wouldn't it be cool you could hang and, and say things you like... Hang out, you know, he was like, not only was he a Jew, but he was also kind of like a hippie, right? He was hippie, so, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. also, you could hang with him and go things like, Hey, Jesus, could you make me like a table? Because he was a carpenter. Right, totally. Right? Yeah. I would, yeah, I wouldn't have to pay for any of my furniture. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be awesome. I would like to meet him one day. And I would like to clone Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Or, or if it happens, I would probably meet him once this interview is over and I die on the way home in a bus accident. Oh, that's sad. Don't say that. No. But you could write no, about it and make a movie. Jesus horror. Speaks to me. That's true. That's true. Scary bus accident movies. German dies in bus accident. Hello. Especially if it's a German guy. Okay, it's time for my favorite part of the interview. Are you ready, Adina? Adina. <laughs> I'm sorry. My pronunciation sucks like shit. <laughs> What is your favorite word? Um, facetious. Least favorite word? No. Favorite body part? Favorite body part? On me or on other people? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I haven't seen it. Uh, collarbone. Least favorite body part? Feet. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And they smell. Right. And you got like the fungus of the toe, yeah, the jam. Yeah, like sweaty and it's just it's nasty. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's on a good day. Right. That's gross. Well, I wanted yeah. to thank you today for coming and, and yeah. being part of my thank show. You. Thank you. Uh, this is your flicks. My guest today was Adina Abramowitz. Uh, Abrahami. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And uh, we wanted to thank you for tuning in. Please, next week my guest will be Casey Anderkush and his new movie, Holy Shit, I Fucked a Snake. <laughs>